Hello everyone, this is Komagatsi, and welcome to my basic setup tutorial for Source 2 Filmmaker and Half-Life Alex. The first thing you want to do is make sure that the Half-Life Alex Developer Tools DLC is installed. So what you need to do is right click on your game in Steam, open Properties, DLC, and make sure that Half-Life Alex Workshop Tools is checked. Close the window. Click on Play. Make sure that you have Launch Workshop Tools selected, or else you're just going to launch Half-Life Alex normally. Going to create a new add-on. We will call this Tutorial Create. And make sure we have that selected. Launch tools. Now that we have the tools open, you can open Source Filmmaker by either clicking on this icon here, or going up here to Tools, Source Filmmaker. Now that we have Source Filmmaker open here, we can type in our session name. I'll name this Basic Setup. You can change the frame rate here. We're going to leave it at 24 FPS. You can also change where your session is stored. I have it stored where I want it to be. So we are going to create. Now that we're in our session, we can create a new camera. So click on this plus sign. Click create animation set for new camera. Expand the camera. Then drag the camera animation set onto the viewport and it will set your viewport as the view of the camera and you can click here on your motion editor so that while your camera is selected you can move it around within the scene wherever you want it to be I'm gonna set mine here to open a map in Source 2 Filmmaker you right click on the viewport set session map and you can pick a map that you've already created, or you can pick one that's already in the game. We're going to open one of the example maps now. If we want to add a model, we click on the plus sign again. Create animation set for new model. Let's put in G-Man. You can either double click on him, or select him and push accept. There he is in the ground. As long as you have the motion editor or the graph editor open, you can move him however you like by clicking on the bone and rotating or moving its position. I'd like to point out that moving your work camera or your main camera is done by holding right click and then moving around the scene normally your WASD keys and your mouse. As in Source 1, it was using left click. But left click in the viewport now just allows you to lasso select. A new thing Source 2 Filmmaker has is the ability to load in skyboxes. Create animation set for new skybox. It'll say Sky Dota, but just remove the Dota so that it's just Sky. And we're going to set this to parking garage one and now our skybox which is previously set to this sort of dev box skybox is now this colorful skybox before source one had just one light and that light is the projected light in source two the reason you may not want to use the projected light too often in source two is because the projected light does not utilize Source 2's PBR. So things like metal and roughness and hair and subsurface scattering will not render very well in Source 2. A suitable replacement for the projected light is a spotlight. Works pretty close to functionally the same. You may notice that G-Man isn't casting any shadows right now. 
That's because you need to right click on Spotlight and then go down to Enable Shadows and then Enable Shadows. And now he casts shadows. And as you can see, he has subsurface scattering as well. And from here on, it works just about the same as Source 1 Filmmaker. If you want to learn more about animating or using Source 2 Filmmaker, I would highly recommend Harry 101 UK's SFM and Source 2 Filmmaker tutorial that he's uploaded on his channel. Thanks for watching.